Success can be measured in many different ways. Some measure success and profit, others measure success in organisation skills. However, we at Solutions deem success as a learning experience. I'm Fraser, one of the managing directors here at Solutions, along with Elaine there. And we're here today with our marketing director, Katie, our finance director, Colin, and our production manager, Sean. We began the initial process in October, so we started quite late, which caused distress among the group, but also spurring the team on. The diversity among the group can be re reflected upon by the amount of innovative ideas we had. Tracking back to the Dragon's Den presentation, we presented our four ideas, but the... <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> From this, only two of our ideas remained, but due to lack of resources and time, this led to liquidation of both, but however, sparking many listed ideas and plans. Despite the intense and stressful moments, we as a group never succumbed to negativity and always strived to take on the next challenges. As marketing director, my job was to lead the product selection process. Our criteria for selection was material availability, manufacturing time, and ease of manufacturing to be able to coincide with the Christmas market. Our leading idea was a cinema food and beverage holder, a receptacle to hold drink, popcorn, sweets, and tickets all in the one container. With hindsight, we still believe this is a great idea, but not one of being capable of being delivered by our school group in such time constraints. Despite our main products not succeeding, we continued to focus on the fundraising. Our main fundraiser was for candy canes, which we sold at breaks and lunch times in school, making a total profit of £70. We also did lucky squares at parents' information evenings, making a considerable profit, and we made pine cone Christmas decorations, making a total profit of £110. With all our initial ideas still in the development stages, an idea arose of manufacturing eco-friendly, festive scented pine cone decorations. Being free and locally sourced in the nearby Kelvin Forest, we pursued a quality manufacturing process of washing, scenting, baking, decorating, and packaging. Selling them at two pound each, or three for five pound, they were extremely good value for money. Completely selling out by 2 p.m. at the Christmas trade fair, it left us with a respectable profit and a great sense of satisfaction. However, although our confidence in our selling skills was boosted, we had to question our judgment in the amount of product that we could have potentially sold and the price that they were sold at. Despite all this, the, cons the customer response was extremely enthusiastic and dressed in costumes, we were confident to go out of our way with potential customers and attract them to our store. Since our incorporation into Young Enterprise in October last year, our company solutions through various fundraising events and the Inverness Trade Fair exhibited a net profit after tax of £75. We gained our initial capital through our school's enrichment fund, which we in which we received a £100 loan. Alongside this, we sold 90 shares, raising a total of £90. Our total sales, minus VAT, came to £181, and our cost of sales came to £53, leaving a gross profit of £121. Salaries were a high, expen a high expense to us, as our total expenditure was £158 putting our operating profit at a loss of uh, £36. However, our fundraising and um, our prize from the Dragon's Den event um, was £120 all-inclusive, giving us a net profit of £84 pre-tax, meaning our final profit of £75. In the words of Bill Gates, it's fine to celebrate success, but it's more important to heed the lessons of failure. This is what we solutions embraces our work, work ethic. Although we may have not made the most profit, we did make profit, and at the end of the day, every member of Solutions gained many valuable lessons in business. It is from our errors and misjudgments that we have gained the most, and we will use these to inform our, inform our next steps in the business environment. Thank you for listening, and have you any questions? <laughs>